Stick around because today I'm going to find out which DIY popper works best for you. Stay tuned. What a wonderful All right, before we get started, I did want to come on here and show you guys the salt fireworks that we did in my last video, my part two of my New Year's Eve crafts, and they turned out pretty good. Now, I will say that if you are doing this product, project excuse me the it's not one for hanging up it's just kind of like an experimental thing and then after you've done it and you've seen how it looks when it dries you might want to go ahead and toss it I'm just gonna be honest so that's what I did um, but the other ones I kept because they still look nice so I wanted to um, just give you guys an update so now let's get on to the video all right so everything I used to create the two poppers are going to be in the description box below and I'm also going to link the videos here on YouTube that I found that helped me make this project possible. So go ahead and check out the description box for timestamps and materials and other information you may need. So I went ahead and painted um, my I guess paper towel roll I cut that in half and I painted them two different colors so that I can make two different poppers like you guys are gonna see so we're gonna go ahead and start with the pink one I'm gonna use that to make the popper with the balloon now go ahead and tie a knot in the end of your balloon and you guys you have to have to make sure you cut enough balloon I cut this thing in half and I did not have enough to go over my paper towel roll and it was a fail so let me show you don't do what I just did <laughs> take your balloon and just cut a little teeny piece off the top not half like the video made me believe you know so yeah snip just a little bit that's it that's all I'm doing because I did half last time and it would not fit so go ahead and put your do-rag on your paper towel roll it's on and we are ready to rock and roll well not yet you got to tape it on sorry <laughs> I forgot that part you gotta tape it on so it doesn't move okay so now we are ready to get popping <laughs> I'm so corny all right so let's go ahead and cover up that that messy looking tape um, by using a piece of construction paper. I'm going to tape that on top so it doesn't look so tacky, you know, got to be neat and cute. This is also a craft here, guys. Okay, so we're all decorated and now I'm gonna grab that confetti. Oh, y'all remember that confetti I said in part one and I was like, I'm gonna figure out our use for it. Well, guess what? We found our use. We're gonna use it for the confetti for our popper. Perfect, right? So um, we're also gonna use pom-pom balls as well. So don't forget about that. But before we do that, let's go ahead and make the one without the balloon so we can compare and contrast. So now you wanna cut two slits about a little less than half. Um, and then you are going to take your rubber band and stick it in the grooves of the slit that you just created and you're going to fold the other piece um, on the other side and there you go. That's the movement we want for our popper, right? Then get your tissue paper. You're going to cover um, one side of it and then the other side you're not going to cover just yet. So use tape like I did, um, that's the best way, or you can use glue, but I'm, I just wanted to be quick. So I use some tape. And then you want to insert your confetti before you put the other tissue paper on top of your um, pop. 
Now, if you have any questions, don't forget I have in the description box below the actual videos so you can actually refer to those videos if this is the popper you're trying to make, okay? So now that we have our confetti inside of our popper, we are going to now decorate the outside because it's looking a little ratch and we don't want that. So we're gonna go ahead and um, tape on the construction paper to cover up all that mess under there. So now we need to make the tag for our popper now. Check this out guys. <laughs> I use construction paper like the video instructed me to do. Now watch what happens. I put it together, fold it in half, cut it just like they said. Now look at this. so i found a ribbon take two <laughs> sad right all right so we're gonna take this ribbon um i did glue it but then it didn't dry quick enough so i ended up taping over the glue so just tape tape your thing on y'all The moment you've all been waiting for testing the poppers so now we're gonna do the one with the balloon first since that's the first one we made load it up with our confetti and we're ready here we go all right didn't work that's all right we'll try again okay still didn't work third time's a charm okay we got a little action a little something okay we got more that time. Yeah. Okay, now that's good. I like that one. Took five tries, but we made it. <laughs> All right, let's see how it how it shoots out the um, pom-pom balls. Let's see if that has the same effect or if not better. So as y'all can see, the pom-pom balls were a bust and I think it only shoots confetti. So that's the one with the balloon. Now let's try the one without the balloon. Let's see how it works. So what they said is you have to tear the top part. Don't ask me, just ask the person that created this invention. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna have to tear the top part and now let her go. Ugh, nothing again. Okay. Wow. So look, it even tore in the bottom. Like, it's no use now. So the rubber band ended up popping a hole in the bottom and nothing happened. Huh, I thought sure I did everything right, but it still did not work for me, guys. So yeah, this one's a bust. So what I'm gonna do is take the pom-pom balls that did not launch out of the other one and let's try it in this one. Maybe this will work. So put the pom-pom balls in there and let's see maybe we got some luck this time I know we don't have a bottom but still might have some luck so let's see what's going on okay can I get a drum roll uh, okay wait let's try it again hmm still not working okay that was three times Come on, man. Wow, so you mean to tell me this one without a balloon is just not working at all? And then it's coming out the slit. Y'all, this is trash. I'm done with this one. Don't, don't make that one, please. It's worthless. But the popper with the balloon was pretty doggone okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's okay. Now, I do think if I made it again, um, what I could do is maybe cut more of the balloon to make it more of a shorter force to pop it, but at least we know it works. So that's my suggestion. So out of these two poppers, I won't make the one without the balloon. The one with the balloon is the winner. Um, so that's the one that I favor the most. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed this experiment and learned something. Also, if you wanted to check out my other two previous videos that I did on uh, New Year's Eve crafts, definitely check those out. There's a card up top so that you can click it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video because, you know, I took time out to help you guys out, okay? And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in 2021. Thanks for rocking with me. I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. See you next year. Bye.